When I was seven, I wanted to be an astronaut. That was like my really big thing. Trying to survive school, parties, more parties. I was a booker in a modeling agency. I was also a bartender for a couple of months. The whole flying thing came pretty unexpected. I'm Maciek, I'm from Poland, and uh, I'm a certified flight instructor. I went to this international university in Germany, in Bremen. It was a major called uh, Integrated Social Sciences. It was, it was really an unexpected move for my part. I just finished high school and I just enrolled. They gave me a scholarship, and that's where I ended up. I always kind of wanted to be a pilot, but you know, it always felt like more of a fantasy, more of a dream that would never come true. And then one day we just sat down with my parents and we thought, okay, so you're trying to find something to do in your life and it's, it's coming kind of hard, so what can we do to help you out? I'm like, okay, I want to be a pilot. We just Googled flight school and the first thing that came up was uh, Daytona Beach, Phoenix East Aviation and uh, Florida. I come from a pretty cold country. Imagining the, the beach, the oranges, uh, the party, the NASCAR 500, the spring break, I was like, yes, let's go, let's, let's do what I like to do, let's fly and uh, have a good time at the same time. What struck me the most is that the student environment in Phoenix is very international. A lot of people from uh, countries like Norway, India, Kuwait, a bunch of different nationalities. So I felt pretty comfortable because my university was international, my high school was international. But you know, it took about two weeks to get involved into the whole social life, to make new friends, and you know, you're in a completely different country. Before every flight, you're supposed to check that everything's all right with the, with the airplane. You got fuel, you got oil, nothing is leaking. You know, you gotta make sure you're gonna be, have a safe flight and that nothing fails. I was waiting for that day for so long to get up in the plane for the first time. I was extremely excited and uh, also a little scared because I've never been in a small airplane like that and I always had these little doubts if I could be a pilot, if, if it worked out for me. So um, in addition to the thrill of actually flying, I was, okay, maybe this is not for me, maybe maybe I'm not gonna be able to take it, but it was, it was amazing. My first solo flight, it was a mixture of, of adrenaline of excitement. You're scared, basically. You are scared because all of a sudden the guy that's been babysitting you all the time is suddenly gone and you're supposed to take this thing up and, you know, make a circuit and then land and then land three times. Now you're responsible for the airplane, your life, and life of other people that fly together with you. It was scary. My first thoughts when I landed the plane was like, yes, I did it. I, I can actually do it by myself. And then when I completed three traffic patterns around the airport and three landings, I was like, oh my God, it, it's already over? I wanted more. I wanted to keep going. I like the Piper Arrow, the PA-28. It's a, it's a single engine airplane. You, you step inside and it's basically a museum, but the, that airplane has a soul. And I had some crazy moments in it, so yeah, I definitely have, have a sentiment for that one. And the ones that I would love to fly, Let's start with the space shuttle. Wow, I would love to fly that one. Or the F-35, the, the fighter. If I was to get a job as a, as a really airline pilot or a professional pilot, it would be uh, the Gulfstream. Or as a hobby, the P-51, it's a, it's a warbird. It's a beautiful old airplane. In the end, I want to be an airline pilot with my own airplane in the garage so I can, you know, Take it out every once in a while for a spin, enjoy myself. Even when you're an instructor, sometimes you're also a student. And the one thing that they don't really teach you in school is how to do aerobatics. You know, the, the stunts they pull off in the air and uh, all these crazy, crazy spins. So um, as an instructor, when you get bored, you tend to read a little bit of literature beforehand and then you talk to other pilots and then you try these stunts by yourself. I try to do a barrow, which is basically kind of winging over, rolling the airplane, and uh, 
I ended up in a pretty serious situation. Afterwards, when we got to the ground, my student was shaking, I was shaking, but uh, it was a good experience. Every school has different uniforms. If you got two stripes, two silver stripes, that means you're a student pilot. That means you're, you just started. Um, when you solo, you get an extra wing on the, on the side of your, of your shirt. So that's like a reward for, being, for not crashing and dying. Then three stripes, silver stripes, means that you're a private pilot. Yeah, that means you can fly on your own, rent airplanes. You pretty much can, can have your own airplane, right? And then four stripes, four silver stripes, means that you're a commercial pilot, so you can start working for money. And when they turn gold, you're an instructor. And every one of us, you know, you're trying to like push the limits, push the boundaries, you know, go as far as you, as you possibly can. Like, why would people go to space when we're so comfortable here on Earth, right? I can think of Leonardo da Vinci that has been, you know, drawing his helicopters and flying machines in his little notebook and dreaming of flying up there. And the Wright brothers, obviously, they didn't know what they were doing, but they managed to get airborne. And, you know, the feeling of, of just floating and the adrenaline. Didn't you ever like think that you want to be a bird sometimes, like get out, get away from all these problems here, down on the ground, and you know see the world from a different perspective, have all that freedom, go up and down, whatever, be like God maybe a little bit. I don't think I'm God, but I, I feel pretty close to heaven when I fly. <laughs>